outside, fill it with a bit of water so you can see it in there. When you apply the pressure, you're going to see a difference in water. So watch that water there. Five times 250 is about 1,250 pascals or so. So the accuracy is you no know, plus or minus 10 or so pascals, but it gives you a resolution and we checked it with this one earlier. So I thought before we disassemble the mock-up, I've got to take the window back to uh, BCIT lab. Uh, I would uh, show you uh, in daylight uh, how the window failed at the extreme pressure range. and. I would also show you how to make a field differential pressure gauge. Uh, thanks to Graham Finch from RDH, who's one of the instructors, he showed me this uh, nifty little trick. So what I've got is I've got some rubber tubing. I've stuck one end of the tubing into the assembly. The other end is just loose to atmosphere. It comes down and, and loops up uh, at pretty much the same uh, height uh, as the, the air in the exterior air intake is at the same height as where it's penetrating the envelope. Then I have uh, taped uh, tape measure beside it. Uh, I've already run the test once so I know what the bottom uh, um, level is to set the tape measure. And then I have filled the tube with some food coloring and water to make it uh, easy to see. And then what happens is, uh, I'll go ahead and run the test, but what happens is as you apply suction to the cavity, the pressure is going to draw the water level up on the suction side and let it drop on the atmosphere side. And for each inch of differential uh, of difference between those two heights, you have 250 pascals. Uh, so uh, we'll just uh, see what this comes up with. So I'm going to start the, uh, the pressure a little low uh, and then gradually ramp it up. So what we'll do now is we will uh, apply that pressure and start wetting down the exterior of the assembly and then I'll come back uh, with a close-up of the camera and show you the areas that uh, the water was getting through. And uh, what I want to do is I want to do it differential uh, or, or stepped so that we can uh, calculate exactly when it failed. I know that it passed uh, 1600 negative pascals. Uh, but then we jumped right up to uh, 3,000 uh, and then obviously you saw we can go right up to 4,500. So I'm going to gradually step this up so that we can uh, tell when it fails. 